What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Before I get to the topic at hand, I'd first like to discuss the Niger Sahan video that I posted yesterday. I posted a video saying that Niger Sahan was banned for cheating, playing marked cards, and being caught doing so. Uh, yesterday or Saturday at the uh, Nationals event that was going on in Columbus, Ohio. Turns out that that was not fully factual. I got that information from DuelistGrounds.com. Like I actually get a lot of my stories from, especially the odd Yu-Gi-Oh related stories. Turns out this is what happened. Niger was banned on Saturday, but it wasn't for that reason. He was playing against an opponent for cash. You're not allowed to do that. That's considered gambling if you're playing at a Konami official sanctioned event. He was uh, approached by Konami officials, asked if he was doing such, and he was caught in a lie. Konami swiftly and promptly banned him, and for reasons unknown to anyone, uh, he decided to try and enter the venue again on Sunday. Konami approached him again, said that you can't be here, and that if need be, that they would contact the authorities to make sure that he wasn't around. Now, for anybody saying that I need to get my fucking facts straight, or that I'm going to get sued, that I'm slandering Niger, or what I'm doing is unconscionable, it's unconstitutional, slow your roll, cool your jets, please, please. Um, what you have to understand is, I am not ESPN, I am not the Washington Post, I am not even the New York fucking Times, if you can believe that. I am a single entity running a Yu-Gi-Oh! related channel on YouTube. I do not have a team of 20 people who can fact check and make sure that everything that I say that comes out of my mouth and into your ears on YouTube is 100% accurate and factual. It's unfortunate that sometimes mistakes are made or that uh, misinformation is given. I mean, how many times have you seen around ban list uh, time uh, false lists that are posted on YouTube or Pojo or Yugi News or such on and so forth? We all have mistakes. Misinformation is given out at the speed of light on the Internet, guys. It happens. So if he saw this video or if he saw that video and he was offended, my bad, bro. I apologize to anybody who got offended by that. Again, my apologies. It probably won't happen again. Maybe I'll do a little more due diligence before. Okay, now for anybody asking why don't I simply remove the video, I will simply say it like this. It would be injuicious of me to do that because I did not expect that video to get 4,500 hits in less than a day. That's usually a lot higher than what my channel generates. However, the money that I make from AdSense is going to pay my college. So it would be counterproductive to my channel to remove a video that for some reason has created such controversy and buzz. Now, I've edited the title, I've edited the description, I've even made this video, where, I mean, about half of this video will be explaining the previous video. For anybody who doesn't put two and two together, that's kind of out of my hands, guys. As a very smart journalist once said, I'd rather beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. There's about 20 other Yu-Gi-Oh! channels out there that you guys can get your information from that have about the same amount of subscribers that I have, or probably a lot more. I have to make sure that I'm very proactive and very aggressive with the information from these stories that I get so that I make sure that you come to my channel to watch these videos and not theirs. So if that means that every once in a while I might fuck up on a story, that's just what it is. All right, now that that's out of the way, we can have some fun. Let's talk about the ban list. Now, you, as you guys know, the ban list is made around national season. National season is just now coming to a close, and it, there's a big rumor that basically... Um, that the ban list is actually at Worlds. I don't know if there's a copy of it or if they're putting the final touches there, but the ban list is supposedly always at Worlds for some players to be able to, you know, set their eyes on. I think that the ban list is probably already completed, but this is what I would do if I was Konami. These are just some of my suggestions. These are, I guess, the suggestions to where I think that we'd have a really, really good format because I didn't like this format that much, even though I did really well on it. Um... For the band cards, uh, Future Fusion, I mean, that's like a fucking duh, you know, like Future Fusion is basically like a win condition when you activate it, you drop a whole bunch of dragons, if you're playing Chaos Dragons, um, it basically turns your graveyard into a toolbox, you've got effects that activate as soon as they hit the graveyard, like Equips Wyvern, you've got dragons that can be summoned from the graveyard, like Light Pulsar, it's just not a very fair card, and also on top of that, if for some reason, that isn't enough advantage being made from just toolboxing with your graveyard. Two turns later, you can get, I mean, a potentially 5,000 attack monster. I mean, how is that remotely even fair? Um, my other banned card I have is Wind Up Hunter. I have been hesitant to really touch wind ups in any of my mock uh, lists until I thought about it yesterday. What does Wind Up Hunter do in wind ups outside of facilitate the wind up loop? Because I played wind-ups for like two months and I haven't found a single thing that that card fucking does 
outside of help loop your opponent. It doesn't do anything for for general like generally speaking the card doesn't do anything. You almost never use its effect outside of like turn one looping or just like looping your opponent. It's just it seems like a card that just didn't need to be made at all. Like I think windups would still be very competitive if they had factories, if they had threes and mighties and stuff like that. I just I don't think that this is a healthy it's a healthy card for the game. Limited um two cards off of the ban list I have limited are Spore and Trishula. I don't have that much of a problem with Spore, like not nearly as much as Glow Up Bulb. Glow Up Bulb is a one card splashable tuner that you can put Glow Up Bulb in basically anything. Like, do you realize that you can throw Glow Up Bulb in Grave Keepers? Like, it gets around Necro Valley. You can throw Glow Up Bulb in anything. Like, it doesn't need any other support. It, it can support itself. I mean, you just throw Glow Up Bulb in any deck and it's like, mm, I can make free synchros. What? Uh, I don't really have that big of a problem with Spore because at least Spore you have to play other plants and I don't really think that the plant engine would be busted if they didn't have Glow Bulb and Spore. I also have Trishula Limited. I think Trishula was just a casualty of overreaction. I mean, I don't really think, I mean, outside of Infernity, I mean, which they can make like three Trishula in one turn, which all of it, all of it is stopped by either a Fet Veiler or Maxi or like anything that disrupts a combo. I mean, I just don't think anything is wrong with Trishula. Like, it takes three monsters to make. Outside of Dandelion, it wasn't a card that was easy to make by any stretch of the imagination. I have Evolves of Lagia on my limited list. Uh, Lagia is just... It's almost like Sheen got limited, so we have to limit Lagia. Like, I, I look at Dino Rabbit, and I'm like, well, how can I... How can the deck be brought down to, like, everywhere... Every other deck, but, like, not be killed? And, you know, how can we not kill Evolves also? I don't think hitting rabbit is the problem like my biggest beef with dino rabbit is the fact that the deck runs like eight rank four exceeds and only uses two of them 90 percent of the time and Lagi is the card that it makes turn one or it makes as fast as possible like 95 percent of the time i mean even with one Lagia, you still have pot of average you still have doka and if you're playing three forbidden lances it's not like doka is not gonna live i mean make other use your other fucking rank four exceeds like i don't have a problem with people going you know, summon rabbit, make an exceed. Just for God's sake, use some of the other ones in the extra deck. Um, limited. We also have red eyes, metal darkness, dragon. Yet again, another fucking duh card. Red eyes is just—it's way too powerful. I mean, it, it, the card became, as Turk the Philly said, the card is way too fucking easy to summon now. Like you can summon it from the hand by banishing any dragon. They made that that, that condition has become a complete joke considering. Dragons hit the field so freaking fast. I mean, you can even overlay for free into dragons with something like Gaia Dragon Thunder Charger. It's it's way too easy. When you add it with like Light Pulsar, which can be summoned from the hand and from the graveyard and everywhere, like the conditions for Red Eyes just are ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that he summons another dragon. He can be brought out from the deck with a tomb. I mean, it's just it's it's way too crazy with Red Eyes. Also, another thing is if you limit Red Eyes Metal Darkness Dragon, you don't really have to hit Heretics or Dragoonity or a Tomb at all, and that can honestly justify Konami saying, see, we can keep Gustav Max limited, because you can't make them now without, you know, two Red Eyes Metal Darkness. My last limited card I have is Insector Dragonfly. I don't have too much of a problem with Insectors. I don't like the fact that if they summon and they get a Dragonfly off, I mean, they almost win every single game. I just think Dragonfly, I don't think he needs to be banned. I just think he's one of those cards where you don't need to be using uh, like an insector dragonfly, getting a centipede, and then searching another dragonfly. Like search other cards, like cards like Hopper and stuff. People don't even ever summon them because it's like, why should I summon this if I can play dragonfly and just win on this turn? You know what I mean? Like dragonflies with facilitates the OTKs and all the power plays in the deck. I just think it should be limited. For my semis, a bunch of old cards. I've got. Black Whirlwind, Mizuki, and Formula Synchron. You guys already know about Formula Synchron and Black Whirlwind, why I don't really think that they're broken and they won't do much. Mizuki is yet another card that... Why is this card limited? Like, zombies haven't done anything since, I mean, damn near right after, like, Teledad. I mean, why? I, I don't understand why Mizuki is, is limited. There aren't any real good zombies, like, you can reborn with it outside of Plague Spreader, which came out, like, in, what, 2008? Mizuki has no place being on the restriction list. For my unlimited cards, I've got Archlord Castilla, uh, Tech Genus, Striker, Agent of Mystery Earth, 
and for the last one and this is going to be the one that makes you turn off the video i always have one crazy card where people say what the fuck capital g like i'll be like well we should unban dimension fusion because it's fun like <laughs> i always have that one card the one card is destiny hero malicious let's unlimited bring back synchros free them like okay let's be real allure of darkness is limited destiny draw is still semi-limited there's no crush card guys it's not like you can go remove Set crush card, <laughs> activate you bad. I mean, there there isn't any of that anymore. And I'm just not sure if synchros win games anymore. Like outside of plague spreader, how are you synchroing? I mean, you could play the old teleport engine and more power to you. But I, isn't teleport semi or still restrict? I don't even know what I think it's semi, right? If you're one, if you're trying to play teledad and a chaos dragon, dino rabbit, and sector meta with windups, more power to you. And if you're successful then great for you. I mean, I think I'd probably try. I just, I don't think that Destiny Hero Malicious is that broken anymore with the uh, the the power level of Synchros being significantly less than Xyz and the fact that Crush Card isn't legal anymore. So tell me what you guys think. If you think that I missed some cards, let me know. And um, hopefully we get more information on the ban list soon. Hopefully somebody uh, sneaks a peek of it at, at Worlds. Uh, click an ad and I'll talk to you guys later.